Cars have changed a lot over the past 100 years. They have become more reliable, more powerful, and safer. And in the past 10 years, lots and lots of electric cars have been coming to market. However, the cars you see out on the street today have one very big similarity to the cars that used to drive 100 years ago. And that is that the concept of how a tire and a rim are implemented is almost exactly the same as back then. Let me show you how that works. Behind me, you see a tire. And a tire basically consists out of two parts. You have the outer part, the tire. That's very obvious. It rotates and generates the forward traction, the forward motion of your vehicle. Then there is the inside of the tire, the rim or the spokes of the rim. That rotates as well with the regular car. It looks kind of like this. Basically, the cars that you use to drive uh, are all combustion engines. And in the, as we see now, lots and lots of electric cars are becoming available now. And those electric cars have two different systems. They have batteries for energy storage and electric motors for the generation of power. Now, those electric motors have quite significant amounts of benefits compared to internal combustion engines. The first and most important uh, benefit of those electric motors is that we can use them to create vehicles that are more sustainable, more friendly for the environment. However, there is one more advantage that I'd like to talk about to you today, and that is that we can make those electric motors quite a significant amount of smaller than the internal combustion engine of your car. And that means that you can start doing unique and crazy things with it. A group from the students from the University, Delft University of Technology, of which, is, of which I'm a part uh, of for about three years now, decided to get creative with these electric motors. They saw that it gave them the opportunity to, to design something new, something unique, something that has never been done before. And what they did is they decided to think out of the box. And um, what that meant for them was thinking outside of the chassis of the car, where the regular combustion engine is placed inside of the chassis, under the hood. Uh, they thought that there might be a better place for the electric motors to go. So they decided to place them in the center of the wheel. And here's what such a system would look like. All the parts you see here behind me are integrated. It's a fully functioning drivetrain, and it fits inside of the wheel. Placing these electric motors is not really something new. It's something that has been done before in the past quite a lot. However, the students from the project noticed quite a lot of benefits from placing the wheels, uh, the, the electric drivetrain inside of the wheels. They saw that they could uh, basically make a car that was lighter. They saw that they could use smart control systems to enhance the performance of the car. So they thought, let's get creative again and design something with those electric motors that's never been designed before. They were driven to make the whole system lighter and decided to get rid of one of the heaviest thing inside of the drivetrain, and that is the center of the wheel. The part that I've just show you, that showed you that also rotates with uh, the, the, the tire of the vehicle. So the students decided to come up with a concept where just the outside of the wheel rotates, the tire. The inside of the wheel is fully stationary. What they've done, they've grabbed all the components needed for an, a fully functioning electric drivetrain and integrated those inside of the wheel. So you have the electric motors for the generation of power, basically the generation of the forwards, forwards motion. You have the gear system. The gear system transfers the rotation from uh, the electric motors to the wheel. And of course, you have a brake system that stops the forward motion when needed. And they grab all of those components together and design it in such a way that it would fit inside of a tire. Now, placing all of these components into a tire has quite significant uh, amount of benefits. You can make your car more energy efficient. What we use, for instance, is we place one of these systems inside each wheel of our car, and that has significant amount of benefits. 
you can uh, do yeah, regenerative braking, gain back some of the energy that you've put into accelerating your car while braking, making your vehicle more efficient. You can implement smart control systems that allow you to go faster around the track or can be implemented to make your drive more safer. But the students from the Formula Student Team project weren't really done here. They decided to take this idea yet another step further. They still looked at the center of the wheel and thought, okay, this construction can be made quite a lot lighter still. So they decided to get rid of the entire center of the wheel. As you can see behind me now, there's no material at the center of the wheel, and that allowed them to build a whole system of tire, brake system, electric motors that weighs just less than 12 kilograms. One other uh, advantage of this solution is that you need less mechanical components to couple the drivetrain to the wheel. There's no need for axes coupling the motors to the wheel, so you can have a very significant cost reduction of your drivetrain of the car. Now, what you're thinking now, what was the goal of this project? Was it, what was the purpose of all this work? Was it to revolutionize the automotive industry? Was it to show that electric drivetrains are uh, really uh, intelligent systems to make? But it was none of those. Um, our project has the uh, goal to give students from the Delft University of Technology extra hands-on experience in engineering. We want them to be able to put their creative ideas into practice, design something that ne that's never been designed before, do something unique that's never been done before. And that, that mentality is going to change the future. Thank you.